Jean Dobry Chest and hello to everyone. Today I'm going to be telling you guys some of the weird things that I like about Poland and this is going to be an absolutely weird video. Um, I don't know how you guys are going to react to this actually. Again, like it's just going to be a weird video. So I kind of thought to myself, you know, a lot of people will talk about some of the things that they like about certain places or countries and all that, but I thought of an idea where I would talk about the weird things that I like about Poland. And I also wanted to note that some of these are also generalizations or it's kind of some of the things that I like about Europe compared to America. All right, so number one on this list is actually socks and sandals. So in the US, socks and sandals are considered kind of like a meme and it's something that's like forbidden almost, especially to do outside of your home. Now, I don't think Poles really do it outside of their home, but it's a thing that they just do inside their home for the most part. Actually, I did see a few people wearing socks and sandals outside their home. It was actually a fabulous sight. I loved it. But yeah, I like socks and sandals and I think it's a pretty cool thing that Polish people do. Okay, I'm telling you guys, this is a weird list. So number two is the bathroom gap. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but if you've been to the States and you've been to a public restroom, when you go to sit down in the stall, okay, we all do it, right? Okay, so the gap that connects the door to like the other hinge that it goes on to, right? There's like a gap that you can seriously see through, okay? And it's really weird, I've always hated it. So there's some creeps that obviously love that because they can just completely look through the gap and they can just see you. And it's, it's really weird, really creepy. And I remember the first time going to Poland and going to the bathroom and having like my own private room from, you know, the bottom to the top a sealed door that closed and there was no gap at all from the hinge to like the door at all so again this is like a really weird thing and this is such a weird video to talk about but i figured you guys might think this is somewhat interesting but yeah it's something that i really like about poland that there's no gap at all also the bathroom seem to be cleaner but i think this is because you're basically paying for them so that's you know pro and a con there but yeah having no gap at all is awesome and it's it's great to have privacy right so number three this is something you know not too many people talk about but i like the language and i would say this is weird to like because you know everyone always says oh it's so hard it's impossible blah 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 i don't know see a lot of people say that you know it's super hard and stuff but yes it is hard but you know it's a great language and it's beautiful so yeah, a lot of people will talk about the language, they'll say, you know, it's super hard and stuff, but I think it's actually just a beautiful language. Okay, this is just my personal opinion, but to me, Polish sounds like Italian and Slavic mixed. Um, Italian because there's lots of words that end in vowels, like A and stuff, which kind of, to me, sounds like a romantic language. And there's consonant clusters in ow, ew and V that basically give it like a Slavic sound as well. So to me, it sounds like Italian and Slavic mix. I don't know if you guys have heard that before, but that's just what it sounds like to me. And I love it. Okay, so number four. And some of these, again, are America versus Europe. But this is something that I was completely new to. And this is weird, okay? Um, so when you're going to hand money over to the cashier in Poland, you basically put it in like a small tray. You don't actually touch them at all in the states this is actually completely different sometimes you're just handing over money and you're sometimes it's like super awkward because you like you kind of have to touch their hand if there's coins involved you basically have to like hold on to their hand and touch their hand because there's coins and you're at least gonna like tap them you know super weird okay <laughs> I'm just, just talking about this stuff is just really weird okay so again in poland you basically just put your money in a small tray you don't actually make contact with the person so just thinking about it from like a sanitary standpoint it's much better because that person is touching cash like all day long so you don't have to touch their fingers yeah you're going to touch the money that they put in the tray and i guess other people may touch that tray but it's just better i think overall and it makes it like a clear situation where so sometimes in the states you're just putting the money on the counter and then they have to like pick it up and it's super awkward but with that tray they basically can easily scoop it up into their hands. And it's just an easy transaction. And it's something that I really like about Poland. And this is a weird thing that I like about Poland. Okay, number five is fashion. And I know this can be argued a few ways. Now, 
Number one, I know that Poland is obviously inspired by other countries for their fashion, and the same as the States. But I think that Poland's fashion is a lot better, and people care about their fashion a lot more in Poland. And personally, I like some of the things that is more acceptable in Poland, like some of the side bags and things like that. So yeah, I think that some of the fashion is definitely better in Poland. And I like it a lot more than in the States, to be honest. And I even made a video about this where I talked about the differences between Poland and USA versus fashion. And you guys can check it out at the end of this video if you want. Okay, so now number six. This is something that most Americans honestly aren't really used to, and that's walking. In Europe and in Poland, you're basically going to be walking um, many miles, typically, if, especially if you're a tourist, just walking around, visiting the old towns and things like that and you're going to be walking a lot and this is something that i like to do because number one it's exercise and number two you're getting like a different perspective than being in a car yeah i don't know it's just something it's it's something different i love that in europe and in, that in poland you don't really have to have a car it's nice uh to have one but you don't have to have one if i had to walk to the closest grocery store when i was 16 years old it would probably be about a two to three hour walk so so to me, I haven't grown up to that stuff, so it's something that's pretty cool, and I love the exercise, and just walking around, getting a breath of fresh air, and just kind of going through the city. It's something that I love so much. Okay, number seven, I have to say it, but bidets, okay? It's something that's a thing in Europe that no American is used to at all, and I don't know why, because the use of them is awesome. I mean, I don't want to go into details about it, but... Um, you know, it's just something that's going to cool you off, clean you down after a hot, sweaty day. And I think they're definitely useful. And I don't know why we don't have them here. It's, it's you know, odd to me, actually. But, yeah, I'm not going to get into details about this one. All right, guys, so that was seven of the weird things that I like about Poland. And I know this is a super weird list. And I don't know if you guys have heard these things before or not. But to me, as an American, these were some of the things that I liked about Poland and Europe. Alright guys, so that's actually it for this video. I wanted to thank you for watching, and if you haven't already, check out some of my other videos on this channel, and that's it for today. So, dziękuję i do widzenia.